Greetings and welcome back, Dungeoneers, to the Guild of Dungeoneering, in which we recently unlocked the Barbarian. We have the Barbarian who's down here, ouch, right to the old knee wound. Oh no, is it an arrow? Is that all you're going to say? One does not simply poke Golden Wolf. That's it. Time to unleash my Barbarian Rage! <coughs> hey, respect your elders! <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. Okay then, let's see. Now... Any other info? No. Okay, well we've only got Nine Glory. There's very little we can do with Nine Glory. Very little we want to do with Nine Glory. I very much want to get some of these. But it is time to take out our Barbarian. Now, we have Flee! Defeat a Minotaur. Uh, yeah, let's try this. None shall pass. Quest 2. Flee. Very well. Go forth, Golden Wolf. We will see how you do. Kra! Black Knight says kill! Last guy from the Ivory League lasted 10 seconds! Okay. Well, you know what I'm going to do first? Now, this guy is basically going to move two tiles every turn we take. So, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to stick a, a Mimic there in front of him. Armed for Irritable 5, Fury and Decay. Now, Decay means every two points of damage done will cause him to take an extra one. But Fury means once he's at half health, bad things. Now, Golden Wolf, what do you have? Death Wish seeks out higher level monsters, plus two HP in combat with them. Oh, that's okay now. Now, we would really prefer it if you didn't go that way, honestly. So you've got a Death Wish. I'll give you a, a minion right there to fight. In my day, Mimics were much nicer. Oh, really? Okay, that's a nice bit of uh, health there. Plus, we get a little bit extra as well. Wow. Assault. Two physical damage, block one damage. Howl. Oh, three physical damage, but we lose one. Now, that means that you would take four in total, and I would take two. Yeah, okay. Seems like a very powerful beginning to that. Headbutt, two to us. You gain withstand for two rounds. Cannot die this turn. Wow. Okay, that's actually a pretty, pretty solid one. But it really doesn't matter. We're just going to go with this, and they're going to die. So that was a good level up. Okay, let's see. What do we want? Do we want to go with a scimitar or a crossbow? Mm, or a stiletto? Then we'll go with the scimitar for blade two. Here we go. Scram! Oof. Okay. Now, it, oh, damn it. I was going to say, if you're likely to look for high level monsters, then I kind of want to give you something nearby to fight. Now, Night Owl means that you're going to prefer... Somebody that doesn't have five blocks around you. Nothing much we can do here. Let's uh, give you a goblin to fight then, shall we? No? Well, sod it. You were the wrong person to bring on this quest. I basically needed you to keep running from that thing, not running to it. You idiot, Golden Wolf. Oh, well. Uh, right, well, we can't block this damage, so we'll use Slice to start it off. Well, this could be a very quick end to our dear Golden Wolf. I've clearly brought you to very much the wrong part of town. Uh, we could go with Swift. Uh, I don't want that. I'll take... Yeah, I'll take Swift. There's very little I can do here. I have you now! Yes, yes you do. Well, sorry. We didn't even manage to get to that fountain. We kind of needed it, really. Okay, well, uh, you're going to block one damage. There's nothing I can do here. Well, I'll use dice just to avoid taking any extra damage. So, we'll, you'll take one, we'll take two. That's going to really hurt. If I use this, then we're going to drop five. Hmm. But they will drop three. Well, we can use with sand on the next turn, at the very least. Uh, actually, Golden Wolf takes three damage. Minotaur takes two. Golden Wolf takes one. Self in da uh, Minotaur takes one. Minotaur takes one to eight damage. Oh, actually, we didn't take five. We took four. 
Okay, that was a bit silly of me. Okay, well, you're going to hit us for two. I could use... Yeah, I could use an extra card, actually. Okay, we'll do a little bit of damage. Is this Fury going to activate? Yes. Yes, it is. Always forget about Fury. Always forget a about Fury. A scream is heard to chill the bones, so lift the earth and lay the stones. A martyr's grave to recompense. But others would have had more sense. Indeed, they would have. They would not have missed Fury. Fury is easily the worst trait. I always underestimate when it's going to kick in. I always think, oh, it's going to kick in after they're lower than half health. But it's not. It's when they are at half health. Now, that does leave things a little bit in the air when it's an odd number. But when it's an even number like 10, yeah, drat. Right, okay, our next barbarian shall be Erwin. Erwin the Barbarian. That sounds quite good. But uh, Barbarian is definitely not going to be the one we're taking out to that dungeon. We're going to go back there again. That was a bit of a fast one there. Let's go with... Stephen, you're coming out again. Let's see how we can do. Now, this should be a little bit better. Now that you're not just going to be throwing yourself at the toughest mob that you can see. Uh, okay. Well, I know exactly what I'm going to be doing here. I'm going to be forcing... The Minotaur to fight the Mimic. And laying down a few cards. Let's see. Is this going to be a good good one or not? It's not. And that's why I didn't put it there. Because it would restrict my placement of other tiles. Now I do need lot. Oh, damn it. I need lots of these guys so that I can force the Minotaur to fight them. No, don't go back. Don't go back. This is exactly the same problem we had before. Oh, Steven, you fool. The reason why Steven didn't go back for the Mimic, of course, was because ooh, because he uh, it was too high of a level, so Steven avoided it. The Goblin, however, a lower level, but there really wasn't a lot we could do there. This is where the Barbarian would have been the better one to have, because at least it would have a better chance against the Minotaur. We have no gear. I mean, it's still possible we could win. It's just very unlikely. There we go. Victory for us. A small one. Please give us some awesome loot. It won't, because it'll be just basic stuff. Uh, Repel is going to be much more useful for me. Stupidity card included. Now, that fountain right there would be amazing for this fight. Should have put the goblin there. Okay, well, Anger, sir of the bat, go ahead and get spiky. You'll take two damage, which means you'll take three. Uh, we'll do this one as well. So, you'll take... Three. Now you're doing Fury. I really, 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 really needed a little bit of help there. You're going to take three damage here. Need repel. Well, drat. We kill it, but it is going to kill us first with its Fury. Oh, Steven, you were so close. <laughs> well, damn. Come gather round and listen now to our hero's epic tale. It is an epic. It was of an epic journey. <laughs> but also an epic fail. Well played. <laughs> Very nicely done there, Bard. Uh, good tea to steady the nerves. Okay. Okay, next time against that Minotaur, we're going to win. We're definitely going to do it. Don't, don't, don't doubt us. Boker! Boker the Bruiser. That actually seems like a, a good name. All right. We're going to take a Bruiser out again, I think. Boker, this is your uh, opportunity to avenge Stephen. And to also avenge our first a Barbarian as well. Right. Okay. Now, I definitely want you to go fight a Nasty Rat. I would like you to fight a Fire Imp. There we go. Hey, what do you think you're looking at, nasty rat? There we go. Please don't talk to a nasty rat now. Because that would just be embarrassing. There we go. It's unblockable, so no need to worry about it. Can't believe how close we came to defeating that Minotaur as well. Uh, well, we can't block it, so no point worrying about it again. 
And this will finish him off both with R attack and with Spiky. Okay, well, we're going to go with the Soldier's Helm for the extra health. Next up, I would like a Fire Imp right there. I'd also like a Fire Imp over there, but I want you really, really, really to go with this one. There we go. Uh, we'll block half of the damage and just do one to him. Not much we can do to block that damage, unfortunately. However, we can at least just get a free turn here. We can't block that damage. But we've got two different types of block. Oh, damn it. Okay. Well, we win either way. I was going to say, we've got two different types of blocks here, so we should be good. Uh, right, we could go with straight jacket or... We'll take the stupidity just for the, the repel, honestly. Such a worthwhile card early on. Okay, what have we got? The Fountain. Heroes unblockable attacks gain one magical damage in the next fight. Uh, it's not exactly the best thing. Uh, let's see. Is this going to be a good Fountain? No. Fountain of Decay. In which case... I mean, I do kind of need to go there. I'm going to put a owl, uh, Bear Owl there. And... Well, I guess we're going to have to fight it on the fountain. At least, as long as I can put a, a mob in front of the Minotaur every turn and keep Baka moving forward, then the Minotaur's never really going to mess with us. Uh, well, we've got a bonus to unblockable attack, so we may as well use it. Here's unblockable attacks gain one magical damage. This for Oh, of course, yes, it had the uh, magical defense there. There's not a lot we can do here, but at least we can do a little bit of damage. We're not going to be able to block that incoming damage, though. Okay, here we go. It's going to take two damage from this, and it'll put it below us in health. And two damage again will win. But now we're going to have Decay, which is going to make the next fight significantly harder. We'd gain counter with that one, which is a very nice one to have. But I would rather take... We'll take the Scimitar. We'll gain a new couple of da uh, damaging cards. Now, I would like you to continue south. We'll could go against the Null with Fury, but I'd rather not because with Decay as well, that would be horrific. But we will put a Null in front of the Minotaur. If we'd gone up against the Null, the... Op the combination of Decay and Fury would have just been way too dangerous for us, I think. Right, here we are. A nice, easy opener. No damage to us. Three to the Mimic. Um, and if you wonder what the three is, one from its own attack, one from our attack, and then one from being spiky. We can't do anything here, but we'll gain an extra damage against Unblockable. So taking the Scimitar really was the best thing to do there, because we'll do three damage with this. And the Mimic is going to be on its last legs. Followed up with a nice try jump, and that will kill the Mimic. So not a bad little attack there. Okay, we're actually just getting lots and lots of uh, weapons, which we don't really want. No, we don't want any of this, but the gold will actually really help us. It'll allow us to uh, move around a little bit more actively. Now, let's hope that we get a good fountain here. Come on. There we go. Fountain of Knowledge. Uh, battle Hand increased by two. We're going to put the Bandito there. Allow the Minotaur to fight it. And we're also going to put the Gold Pouch down here. Just so that... Uh, we were already going to go in that direction. But I'd like to pick up the gold. Since we're not going to be able to take the card with us to the next hand anyway. Alright. Next up. We could place... Ooh, this is a good card for us. If we place this here... The Bandito in it. It's a dead end, so the Bandito loses one health. And we could place the Skeleton in front of the Minotaur. But this does more or less mean we are going to be fighting the Minotaur on the next turn. But we'll be level 4 when we do it, assuming we live. 
which is a big assumption. But there's a chance of getting some really, really nice gear here. So we'll get it. Uh, start up with get out of here. Bandito will take two. We'll take none. Next up, we'll use bash. Again, the Bandito will take two. We'll take none. Followed by you trying something. The Bandito will take one. And wow, really? We took no damage in this fight and wiped the Bandito out. That was actually the best cards at the right time. Okay, here we go. This is what we want to see. We'd gain Tenacious and we'd lose we'd lose Bash 1 and Stupidity, but that's fine. What is Bash at? Bash is only 1, so we'd lose Stupidity 1. I actually really, really like that. Yeah, we're going to go with this one. It's going to focus our deck a little bit more and we're going to gain a trait. Overall, I think that's a really, really good trade. Now then, we could go against an Owlbear if we really wanted to. Or we could just fight him. I mean, we could fight an Owlbear. There's a decent chance we'd get something good out of it. Uh, I mean, we don't need to now. With the highest level we're going to get to, but there's one more equipment slot that we could get. And one piece of very low-level gear that we could replace. So yeah, we're going to go against an Albe. And we'll also just pick up the gem, just for the sake of it. And this is always a bit of a risk going against an Albe. I the, the Fury is such a dangerous card. Here, it's actually particularly nasty. But uh, we'll use Slice, since Dice is a much more useful card in different situations. For example, this one. We're now going to do 3 damage against him. He's going to do 1 to us, so it'll take him below his half health marker, though. So now Fury engages. We can block it, that's fine, and we should, because we don't want the Fury. We'll also block the extra damage from the Fury. We're not going to be able to block the extra damage from the Fury here, though. But we will block this damage. There'll be 1 extra from Fury, and we'll bring the, owl, the Bear Owl into um, 1 point away from death. We don't, unfortunately, get the spiky because we didn't block all incoming damage. Even though we blocked the attack, the Fury stacked and took us over that. But this one will block both the attack and the Fury, so should give us spiky. There we go. It's not exactly clear with that sort of stuff sometimes, but... Uh, ooh. No. Wolf Pelt might be good, actually. But Scale Mail... Much better. Gives us armor 2 and plus 2 health. Yeah, we're going to go with scale mail. Right, our bruiser is in a very good position now to fight this Minotaur. If we get a bandito, I'll fight it. Uh, well, actually, no. I don't really think there is a point in fighting anything more. Let's uh, just go for this fight. We could potentially get some better loot off the bandito, but uh, honestly, we've got a full set of gear. We don't need to worry too much. It's got decay as well. Right, it's opening up very strong there, unfortunately for us. I think the best thing we can do here is to block it. We'll both take one point of, of, of damage, so that's fine. Next up, we'll take no damage. They'll take three because of decay. Uh, we should have probably held on to that one. Okay, we can take do two damage here. It'll do two damage to us. It'll also take an extra one from this, and an extra one from Decay. So this will actually put it within insta-kill range of us. So it really doesn't matter what it does here. We can use dice, and it dies. There we go. Not too hard when you know how. Well, this is really just quite surprising. Aren't Dungeoneers just cannon fodder? But against all odds, they keep surviving. They're so dumb. Why even bother? T. T is the reason we bother. What you don't know is that every time the Dungeoneer comes back from a dungeon, it brings a huge stockpile of tea, because obviously all minions and lairs and, and various evils in dungeons stockpile tea. I mean, come on. Everyone knows that. But uh, we've defeated the Minotaur. It took us three Dungeoneers to do it. The Barbarian was unfortunate. I, I never played with the Barbarian before, so I wasn't really aware of how they would prioritize high-level monsters. Need a bit more planning. I probably wouldn't have even gone to the Minotaur level with a, a uh, Dungeoneer that was just going to beeline straight for it. But uh, <laughs> the first death, the first Bruiser, losing Steven was just dumb. That was dumb on my part. I knew that he would prioritize trying to get a fight 
over a new room. So placing down that level one minion, which he would want to have tried to fight, was a bit silly. But uh, let's check out the graveyard before we wrap up this episode. Golden Wolf didn't like the sight of blood. Kills two, earned nine gold. And Steven killed 39 and earned 443 gold by himself. He was only 57 gold shy of having bought the Barbarian expansion on his own. That is actually quite amazing. And he did that in four dungeons. So he was earning over 400 gold per dungeon he went to. Not bad. Just shy of 10 kills per dungeon, but still very good. Stephen, we will miss you. But that is going to be the end of this episode of Guild of Dungeoneering. I hope you're still enjoying the first day's miniseries, though it's become a, a bit of a longer miniseries, given how much interest there is in it. And as long as that interest continues, then I'm happy to continue playing. But that is it for now. Again, I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you'll be joining us for the next. But until then, and as always, do take care. Swimming in pools of gold This is the guild of Dungeoneering All the monsters keep appearing Oh, to be a Dungeoneer Whose stories will be told